Sometimes when you've got a choropleth map like the one on screen, you've got lots of small areas, in this case in Greater London, and you can't really read them that well. So it's nice to be able to enlarge them and move them out of the main map. That's what I've done here and I'm going to show you how to do it. A nice geometry generator hack that is really quick. But if you don't know how to do it, it's quite confusing. So let's look at what I've done. I've styled the layer with a graduated color scheme. So I'm going to double click it and go to layer properties. And there I go to symbology and you can see it's graduated. If I go to the symbol drop down and hit configure symbol, instead of where it would usually say simple fill, it says geometry generator because I changed it in the symbol layer type section and I've used an expression. I'm going to copy that expression because I'm going to turn it off. I'm going to simple fill and hit OK and apply. So that's what it originally looked like and we'll redo it in a second. But what I wanted to do was I wanted Greater London to be enlarged. Now, if I look at my table, I didn't have a column indicating whether an area was in Greater London, but I did have area codes. And if I sort them like I have done, then I just clicked the layer. I just clicked the column header name to sort them. And then I, I zoomed, I scrolled down until I got to the London area. So the first one was City of London. So I clicked on the row number. I scrolled down until I got to the last one, which is Westminster. And I held down shift and I clicked on the row number. That selected the 33 in London. I then clicked the field calculator button. I added a new field called LON. It is a text field. And then all I did was I put a Y between single quotes. What that did is it created a new column called LON. The Y was only going to be added to the highlighted or the selected features. And that was an indication whether something was in London. So the 33 London boroughs plus the city of London get a Y, everything else is a null. So that's how I created a column so I could use the expression only modifying London boroughs. So I don't need to do that now because I already did it. But if I scroll to the right, you can see the London areas have a Y, everything else has a null. Okay, so let's deselect that and close this. Once you've styled your layer and you have some kind of column where you can uh, indicate whether it's in a state or a region or whatever, like I have for London, you can go to the layer symbology. You can go to the symbol drop down, click on configure symbol. And here it's going to be simple fill. You want to change it below that in symbol layer type to geometry generator. Now here is where the magic happens. I'm going to click on the expression button. Geometry will be there by default. That just represents the actual shape that things are right now, but you can modify it. So let's paste in that expression and let me explain. My expression says in cases when the London column has a Y in it, then use this. And this is an a fine transform. It transforms the existing geometry. It moves it minus 1.75 million meters to on the x-axis. So that would be west. It moves it south 650,000 meters. And the reason I'm using meters is because this data is in meters. You can usually tell if there's big numbers in the coordinate box at the bottom. That would usually indicate meters. If it's things like 0.4, 45.5 or whatever, that would be decimal degrees. So you'd use much smaller numbers to displace things. But the first two big numbers here represent the displacement. Zero is rotation. I'm not rotating it. Five and five, that represents the scaling on the X and Y axis, essentially five times bigger. How much you use in the displacement figures is affected by how much you scale it. I know this is going to work because I've tested it. So for London, it's doing this transformation. For everything else, it's just going to show us the normal geometry of the shape. And I type end at the end. If I click OK, OK and apply, we see what happens. London is five times, well, the London boroughs are five times bigger. And <clears throat> what we have is it's positioned just to the east. If I went back to configure symbol and geometry generator, if I wanted to move it a bit more, I could just change these numbers, click OK and apply. A bit too tight, you see, so I'll move it back, configure symbol, 175. 
like this. Uh, okay, and apply. Now the numbers here specifically can be a bit tricky. A bit of trial and error is required. As you change the scaling of these, it will change. And I'll give you an example of that. If I want it to be only four times the size, like that, if I click OK and apply, sometimes it'll just go in a weird place. Or sometimes it'll disappear off screen and you need to zoom out to see it. So that didn't quite work, but let me try and well, it didn't quite, it did work, but it's in the wrong place. I don't want it there. So I can see here it's it's too far, far too far to the west. So if I change that to 125 and minus 45 or 450, apply. That's a bit better. Uh, configure that. So I want it to be a little bit further south. So let's try for, mm, let's try 50. And I want it to be about, a little bit further west let's try 130 there okay and apply okay that'll do but you get the message there it's just an experiment kind of thing where if you change the scaling factor you need to also change the displacement so i'll click okay and okay on that now if i do want to also have greater london showing what it actually is sometimes people prefer a white gap because it allows people to see specifically the area that's been displaced but if you do want to display the original data in place you can do that i'll just right click and duplicate layer i'll double click on it to go to symbology and i'll go to configure symbol and in geometry generator i'll just delete everything apart from the dollar sign with geometry after it and click ok and ok and if i turn it on london will be back what i usually do here is i'll right click i'll filter it Scroll to the bottom to my London column, London equals Y. And I'll turn it on. So we've got London there. We can turn it on or off if we want to. Okay. So that's how you can increase the size of an area and displace it. And just to recap, remember, I've only done it for Greater London and I was able to do that because I have a column indicating whether an area is in Greater London or not. Let's go back to the symbol, configure symbol, geometry generator and there's the expression. It's in a fine transform that you need to use. Hopefully you'll find this useful and it'll help you make things more quickly in QGIS.